Once in a while, there, there comes a time in every, you know, mind man gamer's life where the, the, you've got to step up to the mark. The base is being raided, there's some kind of event on, you need to get up dead early, whether it be four o'clock in the morning, you know, or one o'clock at night, you have to get on. Your guys are screaming down the Discord, dude, it's time, it's kicking off. And in those sort of situations, you know, every minute counts. And recently, because I've been playing loads of Minecraft factions with the tragic guys, shout out to them, and, you know, World of Warcraft Classic's about to drop, I'm playing a lot, you know, of late night raiding, sort of, basically playing games when I shouldn't be. But nonetheless, now I have, uh, you know, a solution to your midnight prayers. I've got a way to get in game as fast as possible. Well, potentially, when you're not even at your computer. Check this. So, sorry for the bad quality, you know, it, these sort of things happen when I'm doing techie things, mainly because I had to use the laptop to record me using the turning the computer on, which is what that video was. Basically, I'm using my mobile device to send a wake-up packet to my computer in order to boot it. That means I can boot the damn thing from cold, you don't have to have, you know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of these things on the internet, it's like, oh, if you put it in sleep mode, you can boot it up. Now, this, your computer can be properly off, so you're not using loads of power, your mom ain't gonna, you know, tell you off for burning through electricity, but yeah, it, yeah that thing was off, uh, and I'm gonna show you how to do it, like, right now, and it's gonna be sick, and you're gonna be able to use it instantly. So... Now we're on our desktop background, there is a couple of things in order to get this sort of system going. Firstly, let's call it what it is, it's called Wake on LAN, um, W-O-L is what it's abbreviated as, and in order to do this, your motherboard has to support it, basically, that's, that's keeping it really simple. Um, Initially, you should be fine, right? My motherboard was able to do this, and the damn thing's about, you know, at least eight years old. So, you know, if you've had a computer in the last eight years, you should be dandy. And if you are playing these sort of games, you, you should be all right. Nonetheless, in order to, you know, do anything, and uh, this might get a bit complicated, you have to go into the BIOS of your computer, right? Because a lot of computers disable this for security reasons first. Not that it is a big security method, it's just defaulted off. Um, so what you do need to do is go into your BIOS, whether you press F2 or whatever to get on, and look for Wake on LAN. Sometimes um, it's got a different name, I'll put it up on the screen now. Um, search for that and enable it. So, we've, we've set up a BIOS, and don't, you know, don't get too worried. It was one of the things I struggled to find. Like I said, my motherboard's eight years old. It was called something really annoying and took me a while. But nonetheless, most motherboards should do it somewhere. So, and if you are struggling, send me a message in the Discord. I'll help you out. Links in the description. But, you know, bearing in mind you've got that together. And to use this, you need to have a LAN connection, right? So if you're on a laptop, you're gonna struggle. But if you've got a laptop, you should be able to boot up your computer anyway. So don't worry watching this video. It's mainly for his desktop sort of guys, all right? So we've got a wired connection to our internet, hopefully. All right? And in this case, you go to devices, um, device manager, right? So we should be all good. And what we're looking for is we're looking for our ethernet connection here. And this is mine. I, I, I never understood why it's got this name. Uh, but nonetheless, here we are. We go to properties and we want to go to advanced. Uh, and what we are looking for in this case, we're looking for this shut down on LAN, if you want to shut it down wirelessly. But you know, let's just get it on first. Uh, it should be wake. Where's W? Here we go. Wake on magic packet. And basically, we just want to set that to enable. Um, that is basically how it works. Our device will send a packet to our router, router sends a device to our ethernet thing. Computer is actually in like a really, really low power state. Obviously, ethernet has actually got some power in itself. 
So therefore, when a packet gets sent to it, it's like, whoa, let's turn on, lads, and it turns on the computer. Um, and we also want to go to power management and turn on, allow this device to wait the computer and allow a magic packet to wait the computer. Once you've ticked all of them, you should be great to go. Uh, secondly, just to make things work for the long term, because, you know, this does require your IP or at least your local IP. Um, but I'll walk you through that. You want to set static IP address. So what we want to do is we want to go to CMD and we want to type in IP config and I'll make this full screen really quickly. Uh, config. And what this is going to do is tell us our um, IP4 address. So this is the address that on my network is uh, basically what, what the IP of my computer is on my local network. And in order to set that static, Okay, it doesn't change that so we can do this frequently without having to mess things up. Imagine it, you don't want to get to work and realize uh, the IP's damn change. You go to open network and uh, thingy settings, change your adapter, find the adapter that you know you use for your ethernet. Okay, in this case, ethernet. Go to properties and we go to your IP people, wherever it is, properties, here we go again. And we basically copy um, or you can set a new IP, but what I do is generally just copy the IP that I've got usually. Uh, if there's one you specifically want, go for it. So you go, use following IP address, type in the IP you want. You know, normally it's 192.168.1, that's your local area sort, you know, typical sort of thing. And the last number changes. Um, you want to make sure your mask is the same, so that's the 255.255, and your default gateway. Um, so you enter these automatically in like the right on this you know command prompt here and you make sure you set your DNS settings your DNS settings are basically the same as your router but I also use the Google ones uh, as a backup just in case something happens which you just put AAAA not that you probably have an issue but it just means if anything just go down you have some kind of backup sort of situation uh, so hit OK on that and actually you should be good to go so you, you set up you've got everything you need your computers and all work in order all you need is the app. I, because I'm on Android, I have no idea for Mac. I'm pretty sure if you Google Wake on LAN, there will be you know, an Apple, Apple uh, equivalent. But what I use is Wake on LAN. And what you do is that you enter your PC's IP address, you connect it to your home Wi-Fi, you click a button, and it should, in theory, put your computer on. But that's not exactly gonna get me in game, is it? You know, I mean, whilst my computer is on, and that's a great start, I got an SSD at the end of the day. Uh, my computer's only going to save me, you know, about five seconds. I guess maybe if I'm out a bit longer, but I want to take this to the next level. So I decided to get Python out uh, and kind of do a bit more with that. So here I am, I'm in my Python, you know, ed, um, setup. I'm using Visual Code, which is what I like to write my Python script in. If you've never used Python before, you know, give me a shout in the comments. Be like, hey, Oon, I'd really like to learn some Python. Uh, but nonetheless, this is my Python script. If you are a bit more familiar with programming, I'm just kind of walking, gonna walk over the steps and then show you kind of what I did. So using a library called Pi Auto GUI that allows me to identify images based on you know my computer's screen and click them. So when my computer's turned on, I can then just follow a series of images and you know hopefully get a game up and running. In this case, what we do is I have taken a series of uh, PNGs using the Snip tool um, to you know build the steps in order for me to get into the game. And what we have here is just it finding the location, waiting, and then clicking it. Obviously, as a part of it, we need to type in the name of the game because I didn't really want to go through desktop, the route I took, and the most reliable route is to actually go to through the Windows, you know, corner thing, and then search the game name. In this case, I'm just after Minecraft. And this library has the ability to enter text as well. So, you know, if you do want to enter your username and password in just to be extra safe, you can actually write the script in order to do so. If you need a bit of help setting your own script or you want to have a look at mine, um, again, leave us a comment in the comment section. I'll, you know, or join the Discord. I'm happy to help anybody get set up. Um, like I said before, Pi Auto GUI, they have a website. 
really well documented, you should be fine. And this, in this library can do many other things, but for our application, this should kind of solve the problem. I'm gonna press play and you're gonna see it in action. Just before we press play, I also created a batch script that goes to my uh, Python location and clicks the Python script. So that way, if we drag this into our startup folder, when our computer has it remotely turned on, after, you know, I put a delay in the beginning here, um, what we would do is that it'd wait a certain amount of time, this gets booted on, and then the game should launch. So, without even me being in the room, I can be on the bus on the way home, considering that I port forwarded the IP so I can access my um, home network from at work. I can then actually just get the game set up. So as soon as I walk in the door, I'm ready to go. So it's, it's found Minecraft, it's typed it in, and now what we've got to do is it will find the play button. So after a couple of seconds, I've added delays on purpose, just because um, obviously diff you, different computers have different load times. I want it to be efficient at the end of the day. I could add loads of delays. It won't be a massive problem, but this is working with it finds at minecraft it should find the multiplayer button there we go it will direct connect just because that's the easier option in this case and it will actually join us to the faction server so you know if in case there is an issue um i can be directly on the server within seconds i don't have to leave my bed and i can get in game actually uh, taking this even the next step further than that in fact we could um, we could go the extra mile, connect this to the Discord, and maybe there's an emergency. That emergency text would then initiate the uh, application on the phone to kick off or something like that. Maybe we could get the, um, the, the wireless LAN network connection remotely set up. So, you know, maybe using some kind of Raspberry Pi, some third party thing, we can automate the whole process. So in case our base is getting raided or, you know, the, the guild needs me on WoW, they would be able to boot me into the game rather quickly. So there you have it from, you know, in bed to in game without even after, you know, by touching one button. Um, I hope you guys are able to use this. If you do need a hand setting up, let me know. Like I said, leave a comment, leave a like, join our Discord. We've got loads of new things kicking off. See you next time. Bye.